guys, so I wanted to film a really quick video to show you a recent update. This is something that has been being requested for a little while, so we went ahead and made this update for you and wanted to point it out. So in the forecast, uh, if you select your product and scroll down to the buffer stock, what you're going to see is you're going to see that um, the buffer stock now is available for number of days. So we had it in number of units and now we have it in number of days. Uh, and this is very helpful if you've got a seasonal product. So if you have a seasonal product, for example, and you want to keep 30 days of stock, instead of saying 200 units, you can say 30 days. Um, and what that does is if you've got, like I said, a seasonal product, maybe you have a summer product and summer is your high month, uh, the uh, number of units um, only would uh, would change the number of days of available stock that you would have. So if you had uh, 200 units in uh, for a summer product in the summer, that might last you, you know, say maybe five days, um, maybe two days. But in the winter, it might not, you know, last you like uh, 40 days. So uh, switching to buffer stock and number of days can actually be very very helpful, especially for seasonal products. So uh, you have the option to do it in number of days or number of units, but I do recommend uh, switching to number of days. That's probably the best way to look at uh, your buffer stocks. Um, and so uh, check it out, buffer stocks uh, in number of days. And of course you can always use the, uh, the save and apply to all products button. Right, we have it both in warehouse buffer stock and in FBA buffer stock. And again, you can apply it to the save and apply to all products, um, save and apply to all products from the supplier or this marketplace as a global setting. All right, hope you enjoy.